This is a top rig 100 watt battery charger. So it's a four port battery charger. It has um, NP-F four bay fast charging ability. Um, so this is for like the F550 up to the F970. So I was sent this to review for free. Um, if you wanted to purchase it, I've seen it for sale between $45 or um, $35 on sale. Inside the box, we get the little manual, the unit itself, and in this white box here, we have a USB C to C cable. So the unit is kind of an aluminum case. It has some fins on the back for heat dissipation. There's two rubber pads where it sits, like that. There's a little um, display here with one, two, three, four batteries, and then the four battery ports that plug in there. So it has two different charging modes. So the first mode is smart power mode, and in that mode it can use up to a total of 90 watts. So it needs a power delivery 100 watt um, supply, um, and it'll do 2.7 amps to each of these batteries. Now if you put it in the safe mode, it'll limit its output to 0.6 amps, or basically um, 5 watts per battery, so 20 watts total. And so if you're trying to maximize your battery life, you might charge them slowly. Um, but if you're trying to maximize turnaround time, you turn it into a smart mode, and it will you know, put a whole bunch of amps into the batteries, and it will also kind of detect the um, size of the battery, so you know the 550s versus the 970s. And it has different color displays here for what's going on with each battery. Now this is a desk or table or shelf mounted um, in that it sits flat. It doesn't have any way to mount it to a wall. There's no holes to mount it into anything. So there's no latches on the battery compartment, so it counts on gravity to hold the batteries in place. All right, they've already made a design decision I do not agree with, is that the power port is coming out the front. So if you have this sitting on a table or a desk, I want the power port coming out the back to go, you know, to the back wall or whatever. Instead, it's going to come out the front, and then it's going to have to, you know, make a turn, go back to wherever your power outlet is. Unless you have a desk with, you know, outlets in the front of it or something, um, I would really wish that USB-C port was on the back here. Now, when you first plug it in, the screen turns on, but if you leave it for a while, it'll turn off. So if you're in a room where light is a problem, this guy won't make light unless it's charging batteries. You push the button, it pops up and says, hey, no battery. All right, so the quality of the USB power supply matters. Here it just says power detection. I have it kind of plugged into kind of a 20 watt USB phone charger. So I'm going to unplug it from that and I'm going to plug it into a 65 watt power delivery charger. And so now it says power delivery in 65 watts. And there's a thing that says smart here. If you push this, it goes to safe. Push it again, it goes back to smart. If you push and hold for three seconds, um, it will go to a battery activation mode. And that's basically if you have a battery that's kind of so low that it doesn't want to charge it, it'll just kind of give it a little bit of juice to try to bring it up to the correct voltage to activate it. Now, I don't know how to get out of battery activation mode. I'm going to try holding for three seconds. That seemed to work. Now, this says power delivery in 65 watts. If I plug it into a 100 watt power delivery charger, it will detect that, it, hey, now I'm connected to a 100 watt charger. So there, when it turned on, it says power delivery in 100 watt. All right, so let's plug in a battery. So this guy says, hey, that battery is at 62%, and it's charging it at 19 watts or 2.5 amps. Now I'm going to plug in a different battery. And it says, okay, well, that battery is at 50%. I'm charging it at 2.3 amps, 18 watts. So this one here went down to 19 watts. That one's at 18 watts. And this is on the smart power mode. If I flip it to the safe power mode, it's changing, um, and now it's doing half an amp per battery, so that's basically four watts per battery. Um, and so that is a very kind of low power mode. So if you have overnight and you don't want to, you know, stress your batteries out, you can kind of put it in that lower power mode. Charge them, it'll just take a lot longer to do so.
in smart mode, it's going to try to do the kind of maximum charging current it can get away with. So the you know 970 batteries are going to get charged at a higher current than like the 550 batteries. So here it's doing 19 watts to each battery, um, and this is with a 400. This is with a 100 watt charger coming in. Really, it should be able to do that with the 65 watt charger. All right, I've plugged this into the 65 watt charger, and it's still delivering 19 watts to each of these two batteries. So the total input here says 41 to 42 watts going in. Now, if you wanted to do four batteries at the same time, the 65 watt charger would not provide enough current for all four of those to charge at the full power. So when you plug this into like a 65 or 100 watt charger, it will default and negotiate up to the 20 volt level. So at the 20 volt level, this guy just sitting here idle is drawing 0.7 watts. So it's not a large draw for an idle device, um, but it is drawing a little bit of power when it's sitting there. All right, I have three batteries that are a little bit run down, not fully drained. Like that guy, it says is 52%. It says that one's at 26%. And this one's at 42%. So it is charging these three guys 18 watts, 17 watts, and 18 watts. Okay, I've switched this over to a USB-C power delivery 65 watt charger. And with three batteries here, it's doing 18 watts, 18 watts, but it's only doing seven watts to that battery there. Um, so it looks like you know, it's only drawing 40 watts, so that 65 watt charger could give a little more power. Um, but it looks like it stepped back a little bit on this battery. So it's, you know, 18, 18, and 7. Okay, let's try some batteries here. So this guy is down at 20%, and so it has a red background. Um, and it's currently charging it at 16 watts. This guy's at 32 or 34 percent, so it's at a lime green background, and it's getting charged at 18 watts. That guy just says no battery. Um, so apparently I have ran this guy down so far, I pushing the buttons isn't popping anything up, and it's not even detecting it. So we're going to be able to try the battery activator function on that guy. And then this guy, he's at 57%, um, so he gets a lime green as well. Um, and he's charging at 19 watts right now. So this guy just flipped up to 31%, and so it gets lime green, and it is uh, 17 watts. So let me take all of these guys off. We are going to put this guy into battery activator mode and see if we can activate this battery here. Um, so I'm going to push and hold for three seconds. And now it says activation, no battery. Um, so I'm putting this guy in here, and it says complete. And I guess that means it just did it. So let me switch back to regular mode. Oh, look, now it knows it's a battery. It's at 19%, it's charging it up. All right, so I believe that battery, battery activation basically just says, I'm gonna put some current on all of these pins, or maybe some voltage on all of these pins, so that a BMS in the battery will say, hey, I'm getting charged, I'm gonna reactivate and connect. So let's put all these batteries on to charge. Okay, so we got 21%, 30%, 38%, and 60%. Um, the highest watt I'm seeing right now is 19 watts. According to the manual, it can get up to 23 watts. Um, so it says, you know, at different periods of the charging you know, from zero to 100%, it'll do the smart amount of charging. But it looks like it's mostly charging these guys in the 16 to 19 watt range. So, you know, kind of nominally kind of a 20 watt charging for each of the batteries. Um, right now, it's drawing in about 80 watts. It's 79.5 watts that's coming into it right here. So it's not hitting that 100 watt USB-C power delivery charger 
for the full 100 watts, but it's getting a good 80% of that maximum rating there right now. So if you don't have this guy plugged in and there's some batteries on it, it's taking a little bit of power from the batteries to run the electronics and it will give you a reading on the voltage level and hence the you know, approximate charge of each of these batteries. Now it does time out after a little while. Now when we plug this guy back in, it comes back and it defaults to be in smart power mode. So if you were to have a power outage and the you know, power to your USB power supply gets unplugged, it'll go out, um, then it goes into kind of, hey, power detection mode where it detects the power on the batteries um, and just tells you the voltage that each battery is at. And when you plug this guy back in and it gets power again, it swaps back to smart mode. So I would have liked it if it stayed in the last mode it was in as opposed to defaulting back to smart mode. But usually smart mode is fine. I mean, it's not unreasonable to charge one of these big 970 batteries at 20 watts. I mean, this battery here will actually charge itself at 30 watts if you plug a USB-C power connection right into there. So if somebody's chosen, I want the safe rate, um, you know, maybe they've done that for a reason. So it'd be nice if it kind of just kept that even through a power outage. So when they're full, it just turns to a solid green and says full. You take the batteries out, it just says no battery. Now if you take a full battery and put it in, it detects that, hey, the voltage is already all the way up and it's not going to charge it. Okay, so this guy does what it's supposed to do in that it charges the batteries. Um, I've seen it hit 20 watts per battery. Um, it does require your power delivery 100 watt power supply. Um, it'll work off a 65 watt supply. I've tried plugging into smaller supplies and it just it says power detected and it's, it's not actually going to work. Um, so you need a minimum 65 watt power delivery supply. If you actually want to charge all four batteries at the highest rate, you do need that 100 watt supply. Um, so so really the only downsides I see to this is that I want the USB port in the back, not hanging off the front. Um, it would be nice if they included a power supply with it, um, as opposed to making you purchase a power supply separately. On the other hand, if you already have a 100 watt USB power supply sitting around, the cost goes down because they're not providing that. Um, it, the activation mode is really nice if you have a battery that has a BMS built in that you know goes all the way down and shuts itself off. You could reactivate that by plugging in like the USB port here, but having it here is nice so that you can reactivate it with this battery charger. Um, it charged, you know, various different NPF970 equivalent batteries work just fine. So also, it is desktop mounted. You cannot wall mount it. It doesn't have any latches. It must be in this particular orientation. Um, you know, so it holds the batteries in just fine. Even, you know, kind of these longer ones that want to kind of hang out a little bit. Um, but you do have to, like, hold it down with one hand and pull the battery out because, you know, it's kind of friction fit in there basically just off the battery terminals. And so if you have a lot of batteries in here, you can pull one of the batteries out and the other, weight, other battery weight will keep it down. Down. Um, but generally, you're going to be finding yourself holding this down and pulling the battery out. So comparing it to a different four port battery charger I have that's also USB-C powered, um, the display is nice. It has a, a nice easy to read display. You know exactly what's going on. This guy just has, you know, some battery bars that kind of flash at you. I like the fact that this guy has these little latches and so you can put the batteries in. It also can be hung from a nail so you can hang it on the wall and it has the quarter by 20 slot um, port on the back so you can you know, mount this to anything with a quarter by 20 slot. Um, um, and so if you want something wall mounted, you know, this is a guy for you. Um, this guy here charges batteries a little faster, um, you know, so it'll go up to 20 watts per battery. So that's a little better than this guy over here. Now this guy does have an extra USB-A port right there. Um, and so you can use it kind of to charge a cell phone in addition to um, the batteries. And it also will take power from the batteries to charge something at five volts off that port. So if this is, you know, you're taking kind of portable with you, it makes kind of a, a, a you know, a, a little, cell phone charger off of your batteries and that's just a little added extra feature um, but for you know kind of home base station fast charging this guy here goes a lot faster